Okay, hello and welcome. News flash. Finally, Konami has decided to drop a ban list onto us. And many Yugi YouTubers are currently at a YCS in Philadelphia, as I am not leaving this room and this house. I'm not there and I'm not affected by this list that actually, as I see just now, will be effective as of June. So, uh, yeah, Konami not actually screwing over the event like that, like that, but. Man, dropping a ban list without any notice. Yeah, Konami things. Ah, it's just sad how that whole ban list stuff works here in this game. But regardless of that, let's go right in. And I already see Cyberstein moving from limited to banned. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, there's on one hand the uh, make him a psi and then abuse the no life point cost stuff. Uh, summon every extra deck monster that you want. Uh, stuff like that is disgusting, but obviously it's more niche and then uh, the more important uh, Let's just make exterior. Uh, yeah, that shit should have never come back even though it's a cool old-school card um, Before we go into uh, more of the changes actually uh, we want to see as a tier elements enjoy it elements is uh, One of my favorite decks of all time. It's just so much fun. It's I love to play it. I love to Watching other people play actually more than anything else. It was just a, such a great format So I hope to see at least kit to one. Maybe we get some names back to two something, please and uh, Then on the other side heavy hits to Kashira, please the deck is so unfun to play against obviously as a tier player Yes, yeah, sure, but also overall it just has so many unfun elements in gameplay uh, then on the other side uh, sure, super heavy and purely uh, these decks are pretty good, but they're also out for like what a week two weeks now uh, Maybe they get some hits, but hopefully not too hard. They, they need some time to come up, right? We have Kashira enough for like half a year nearly half a year uh, So yeah, we expect heavy ca cash hits uh, Personally, I would also like to see some love taps in the direction of sprite and uh, Naturia runic sure they're not the best decks anymore, but uh, they, they need to be uh, kept in check a bit and then some unfun stuff like Cyberstein and uh, Expulsion needs to go by the way. Uh, well, let's just go into it. No more blah blah already two minutes wasted of your time Let's get into the ban list here and uh, Also always with ban list. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it What did you predict and how do you cope with the expectations number 89 here being banned? I think everyone expected that uh, one of the more unfun cards in their Kishira combos, obviously not coming up always, but it's one of the more uh, yeah disgusting things they do. Uh, not only banishing your extra deck, but also, I mean, it is the enabler for the zone lock, so uh, that one had to go 100%. Um, obviously, they won't ban a Rise Heart, but that card, like, in the future, at some point, probably will also get banned. And I just noticed Kit is not coming back. Why? <laughs> Come on, kit to one won't do anything, man. Ah, anyone. Anyway, let's see. LP also not back. What? They actually didn't unban Sprite. No, uh, what the fuck? Why is uh, Scarecrow here? Luckily, I sold a bunch uh, <laughs> previously, but uh, what the fuck? Uh, also, Electromite is not coming back. Okay, that's that's wild. Uh, Super Heavy probably can still play the game without that, but that's a heavy hit for a deck that's out for like, what, two weeks now? That's insane. So, uh, Diablosis gets hit for Kishira, the deck that has been a menace and has so much unfun gameplay elements. Uh, that's been like out for three, four months at this point. And a deck that's out a week, and it's, it's not game breaking by the way, uh, gets one of their key cards you could say uh set from three to one uh three to zero sure you were only playing two i think but that's 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 arguably very hard now we expect to see a lot of cash hits uh cash main deck cards going to uh to one uh fenrir unicorn and oh my god i can never remember the main deck cards uh planet Re rebirth some shit like that uh we'll have to see nothing else banned so far oh a, po a pointer uh, I mean, it, it was clear that at some day this will, is going to happen. Uh, no one was playing it really at this point in time, but uh, yeah, it's weird. Uh, what was it? 
a year, one and a half years ago, people were actually calling for this ban. It didn't happen then. Now, after people have stopped playing it, it's gotten banned. Uh, luckily, this piss card here is still on the ban list. Great fortune. Uh, and yeah, I just saw it, by the way, but... Finally, branded expulsion lock is gone. I mean, sure, they still can do that disgusting stuff for you, to you, but uh, it's a lot harder to do with the uh, Al Alubium, something like that. That new extra deck card they got, the new dragon there, requires more setup uh, and is less oppressive, so that's good. So far, uh, the bands, a pointer is a bit weird, uh, but the Diabolus, the brand expulsion, and the Stein, that's fine. The bands. The Scarecrow is a bit heavy-handed, but I think that's fine so far. I don't expect any other bands, by the way, yeah. Uh, okay, so, so so far, so fine. A bit, bit sus with the super heavy hit. Blaster coming back, okay, everyone expected that. I mean, yeah, it was probably pretty obvious. Uh, obviously, yeah, bring me back the Dragon Rulers. Let's see. Obviously, with uh, super heavy right now, Redox can't really come back. Uh, and, I mean, Tidal... I mean, why not? Uh, yeah, Agido. Actually, we're now looking for the tier main deck cards. Uh, if they're still on the list here, that's bad. <laughs> we want them at least. Come on, give us the names back to two. If you're if you're keeping Kit, that's hard. But at least, come on, give us something. Uh, circul circular to one. Wow, that's pretty heavy-handed. It's like the fourth, fifth best deck at this point. They get hit like that. It's. The card does mostly everything for the deck. This and... Oh, what the fuck? What's the... That's a trap card. Shit. Uh... Oh, goddammit. Yeah, everyone knows the trap card. Um, These two cards more or less do everything for the deck. But Circular getting hit to one. I mean, they still can reach us reliably, but that's weird. Uh, Miscellaneousaurus. I mean... I, I, I am not the big dino friend. But uh, even with the dino support coming up... I thought maybe they're going to get some cards back. But, I mean, maybe some others. Uh, Mudora and Agido, Kelbe, Keldo, uh, everything's still at one. What? <laughs> what? Gamma to. Okay, that's on. It's not playable, no? Actually, oh uh, no! The tears are. No! Changes to tier elements! No! <laughs> Ah, shit. Uh, but Gamma is not playable anymore. You, you're, not, not, you're never playing one uh, Gamma and one Driver. No, no way. It's dead. It's dead. Like, the card is pretty strong, don't get me wrong, but the, it's dead, no? It's dead. You're not... Nah, it's dead. Okay, so Gamma is a dead hand trap anymore. A Denlong coming back, okay. A Denlong, Fairy Dragon, okay, 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 we'll... Like, we're getting some uh, good Synchros back. Obviously, they want to sell Duelist Nexus with all the Synchro cards, but Denglong coming back, okay. So, so, they're eating good. They're getting the, uh, oh, fuck, what were their names? The token generating dragons from the last set, right? This Apple Dragon or some stuff like that. And now Denglong, okay, okay. Uh, oh, and Arisa to one. Uh, Striker Dragon, by the way, why is it still at one? Anyway, uh, Arisa to one, okay. That is... I mean, I would love to say that's huge, and I would love to say that's enough, but sadly it isn't. Uh, Rise Out Pass is still disgusting, and they still can. I mean, we have not seen any main deck cards getting hit. Red win the extra deck portion here. Not a single extra deck, uh, main deck card of Kushira has been hit. Uh, so, so far I would not say anything is enough. Even if, like, the entire main deck gets hit to two, uh, I don't think that would be enough. I think like one is fine. Sure, if it's removed, they might run into some problems, but overall, I don't think it's too big of an issue. Uh, it's still incredibly powerful, and the main deck consistency is still there, especially as we see no other hits. And with number 89 uh, being sent to zero, there's also no more degenerate stuff like uh, banishing your opponents now at one Arise Heart. Uh, so you are the only one with an Arise Heart. I think. It's good, it's a step in the right direction, it was clear they won't ban it, uh, so putting it to 1 is the best thing we could have hoped for. But no other changes is leaving me kinda worried. And Actually, we might get some of the spell... No, we get purely. We get no other spells, hit, by the way. I scrolled too far. Uh, purely memory, uh, I think that's one of their 
best? Is that is that not the best card? So I have to be honest, I'm not a purely expert, so I can't give you too much import, but I think it's their best quick spell because it's for their main uh, for their main uh, XZ monster. But uh, I could be wrong with this, but I assume that's the case. Uh, but that's again, it's it's just like the super heavy uh, scarecrow hit. The deck has been out for like a week, maybe two. Why is it getting hit like that? The the Kashir, they only have a Rise Hut to one and Diabolus to zero. That's the only Kashir hits for the best deck in this format that has been going on for like four months now. Uh, that's wild. Purely comes out, immediately gets a slap. We have also not seen any hits to uh, Notoria Runic. I mean, it's not the best deck anymore or anything like that, but uh, with the other decks getting hit, maybe it comes up into like contention again. And actually, is there anything else? Oh, no. Just as I was talking about it, uh, Sacred Tree to... Ah, you didn't saw anything. Sacred Tree to 1, uh, that's actually... I mean, the thing is, it has no like once per turn and stuff like that, so... It was, it's obviously an old card that's like not intended to be milled directly from the deck. Uh, but I think this is just a hard hit for the Naturia part, right? Runic might be able to deal or like find another like partner to play with. Uh, whereas like this is a bit of a heavy hit. Sure, Naturia is not maybe the most fun deck in terms of like fun for Yu-Gi-Oh players, right? The Naturia extra deck cards, uh, exterior obviously being the extreme form, but uh, even Beast, it's just you don't like that kind of stuff being in the game, I've, to be honest. And the resource loops are also decently oppressive. But it's... Naturia Runic is not a super relevant deck, so maybe like a small hit, like one or two cards would have been fine, but I would just hit the Runic cards. I would put Fountain to two. I mean, we're not looking at the semi-elements, but Fountain to two. And what's the other tip? Tip to one, maybe, maybe stuff like that. Uh, I would not have really touched the Naturia cards, uh, regardless. So purely and super heavy getting hit here so far. Uh, unnecessary Kushtira not getting hit enough. Math Mag and Naturia getting some stray, which is like ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, semi limits. So obviously malicious Herald coming back to two. Uh, that's good and all. But with the Ishizu cards at one, you are not going to play Herald. It's just not worth it. You have uh, two Heralds and then four Ishizu cards. Uh, the chance to draw a Herald and an Ishizu card is just not high enough. You're obviously playing Diviner as well, so that is something you can discard, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I, as much as I like the card, it's just not good at this point. Unicorn to two is just ridiculous. Yeah, that's the only change. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a fucking piss list. What? This, this is a, what is the oh, lightning storm uh, what is the i mean okay runic and starter 2-2 two, two, fine absolutely fine just slight hits to consistency doesn't do too much doesn't hurt the decks too much but that that's fine uh engage to two sky striker probably uh coming like the new merch or new something like that uh konami just likes money uh, Lightning Storm to do is ridiculously stupid, doesn't do anything. Is Lightning Storm a problematic card? Have I missed something? Uh, maybe some of the Labyrinth players have uh, lobbied uh, for this. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but let's come to the most relevant thing here. Kashura Unicorn to 2, it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, like All the spells like are going to search it if you draw any of them. Not all, any, but most of them have like the inherent ability to get you bo the bodies if you're missing the Unicorn, or let's just talk about Fenrir. There's still Fenrir at three. You can just get Fenrir, draw Fenrir, and then get to Unicorn. And just from three to two, that's just, that just doesn't matter at all. That's just such a minuscule uh, consistency hit, especially with all the search power that the deck still has. Uh, Kashira has effectively not been hit so far. Uh, unicorn from three to two, a rise out from three to one. That's the hardest hit the deck has. And I think it will hurt them, but not enough. Like there's even uni I mean, unicorn control also slightly hit with two unicorns, but the deck still has so much consistency. The, the main deck cards, they're still so strong. And yeah, they can't uh, Shangri-Era uh, Diabolus your entire field and lock you out of play, banish your extra deck, you see. 
but like who cares it's still way too strong and especially with the other tier not tier two but the other uh second third strongest decks getting also hit it just feels so stupid kashira is just continue to dominate it will be the worst tier zero deck ever i think at this point unless people actually just don't want to play it anymore because it's just unfun but you know Yu-Gi-Oh players aren't going to do that uh engage okay i mean sky striker won an event last year uh with mystic mine obviously that shit is luckily not in the game anymore uh these changes they're fine uh, but, uh, like what the fuck is going on let's go to the uh three offs steam the cloak i mean with to be honest, there are so many other uh, tuners that can come back to at least two or three now with uh, Christron gone. Steam the Cloak, I mean, give us some back. Uh, oh my god, I have not read this card in ages. Uh, why? Uh, me, I'm probably overlooking something. It's like 4 a.m. I'm, I'm overlooking it. I don't see where like this card is problematic. I think there's no hard ones per turn, but it's being banished, so who cares? I mean, it's level three dark machine material. It's just ah, who cares? Some Sir Lotus, the OTKs that were available with this age-old card are not consistent enough or not good. Maybe there's something else that you can do, but it returns in the end phase, right? Yeah. Uh, like who cares? Uh, the card is garbage. Uh, who cares about Spiral? Um. As long as master plan is still banned, no one cares. Uh, Starling, it was limited, semi-limited, now to three, no one cares. Uh, wait, what? Multi-roll? Wait, what? Engage to two, multi-roll to three. Uh, uh, what? There's definitely some Sky Striker merch or something like that coming up because Konami likes the money and yeah, Draco face off, who the fuck cares? Uh, so... All of this kind of like multi roll and engage. Now Sky Striker might. Um, we'll have to see. Sky Striker with Runic? Maybe? Maybe? Um, nah, who knows? But yeah, all of this doesn't really matter. Actually, most of this list doesn't really, doesn't really matter. We'll have to see how. First of all, Tier Elements, Pain, not getting anything back. I mean, I knew it was Co, but I. So let's just go over it again. Quick review, obviously now we know all the changes, we have a bit more context. Cyberstein, good hit. Uh, 89, good hit. Uh, this is questionable. Uh, I think they can still play the game and there are no other hits besides this and Stein, so it's fine, but questionable. Uh, so why are these new decks like uh, Super Heavy and uh, Purely getting hit like that, like that? Whereas Cash, I mean, they get three hits if you're being honest but like, what are these hits it's like they are punching in the direction of the deck but they are not even hitting their shadow or something like that it's weird a pointer who cares it's it's an unfun card i mean hey uh expulsion just get rid of shit like that uh blaster hey welcome back my friend circular maybe maybe a bit too hard but it's the the card is obviously really good, but it's the most important card kind of for the deck. Uh, well, we'll have to see Gamma unplayable with this. Just that's a terrible uh, change. Uh, at least put it to two if you think it's problematic. I don't know. I don't like this change at all. Uh, then long, I'm... Hey, welcome back, my friend. Let's see what people cook up with this. Obviously, I'm a huge combo enjoyer. Um, Arise Hearts... Rest in peace, man. Uh, hopefully, you, uh, the day where you go will come soon. Because, yeah, I just can't deal. I, I just, I'm not a big Cash Tier fan, uh, in case anyone has wondered. But, yeah, putting him to one is a step in the right direction. They wouldn't have banned it, but that's the best we can hope for. Memory to one is uh, it's a very hard hit. Not a big Purely fan, so I don't care too much, but unnecessarily hard at this point. Natura Secret Tree to one also. Feels a bit hard for Naturia in per se. Uh, Runic gets only slightly tapped as a sprite, which I think is fine. But in like in that case, I would have removed the hit to a Sacred Tree and instead like hit a Tip, Runic Tip. I think that would have been a better change. But who knows? Orange Light doesn't do anything. Kristira Unicorn doesn't do anything. Again, they're not 
they're looking in the direction of cash but they are just not even hitting their shadow it's just it's clown show uh, lightning stone doesn't do anything uh engage and multi-roll hey maybe sky striker can do something obviously he has a huge fan base uh, i mean anime gold deck i mean hey you know how Yu-Gi-Oh players go i mean tier elements on Jara right here i guess i'm i i should shut my mouth all these cards coming back doesn't do anything so overall uh, we waited four months, more or less. No, February. So, I mean, this comes in effect in June. So, we uh, kind of four months of wait. Uh, they didn't say anything. This list comes while there's a YCS currently going on, which luckily it doesn't affect me. Uh, this is just absolutely fucking wild what they, they have done here. Uh, so many changes that actually don't do too much. And does this improve the format? I would say... Uh, Maybe slightly, it's better than nothing, I guess, but I mean, uh, so much weight and hopefully at some point Konami will make a statement why they do these things. They have never done that, so I don't think so, but it's just, it's just wild. So with this, I don't think we can actually make any upgrades to the uh, deck list that I have so far published on my channel. I was kind of hoping to uh, maybe make a new tier elements deck profile with uh, maybe some tier cards coming back but i know my cope is big but uh yeah maybe uh next time uh next ban list uh, they will uh fix the game uh the weird thing is i also um i'm not seeing too many changes in the direction of new content if we take a look here at like upcoming content for the uh yeah, next couple of months so in dualist nexus obviously uh we get a bunch of synchro stuff okay purely runic they get some stuff so maybe it makes sense that they're not getting to hit too hard so in light of uh yeah soul burning volcano here the new dualist set uh i was thinking maybe we get yeah a gazelle back uh or at least to two same with uh, miscellaneousaurus stuff like that uh with the where's the uh the dino stuff and which set was it again uh i don't remember but I mean, at least they're not doing silly stuff like that to sell product, but overall, I don't like the list. It should have been better. We have waited a long time. And so it's a small hit to the big deck, right? Kashira. The other hits also get a bit of a tap. So I think everyone is getting a hit down the pack. But and with that, maybe some like other decks can find some new avenues. But overall, I think the, uh, the strongest decks are still the strongest and nothing really has changed so far so let's wait another four months maybe three months this time uh till konami gives us the next ban list and maybe by then kishkira will uh be gone good riddance but for now we have to deal with uh yeah three four months another format of kishkira and uh yeah great Anyway, hope you enjoyed yourself with this ban list. Uh, again, let me know in the comments down below what kind of decks you are going to play in this new format and what kind of changes you are really uh, happy about, what you are like despairing about now. <laughs> Maybe you made some uh, unfortunate purchases. Uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts about this overall ban list here. Uh, yeah, it's something. Till the next time, my friends, take care and bye bye.